Hello, welcome to the video. Quick update, lots of projects going on at the moment. So I'll give you a quick tour of about three different things that are currently going on in the shack. So let's make our way through. It's absolutely lashing it down out there today. And uh, yeah, not gonna be going out into the, uh, <laughs> out into the antenna field. Look at that. Absolutely uh, peeing it down. So a few things going on in the shack today. Uh, let's just spin round. We've got the dashboard system that I've built. That's not live yet, but uh, it works. There is a 3D mode as well. If I waffle for a couple of seconds, we'll see it. There we go. And we've got a little pet fish that what was about. That's just a bit of fun. That's just me testing the, uh, <laughs> testing the system. You'll be able to turn that off. Uh, but anyway, so we've got 3D mode, 2D mode, and it just sort of switches backwards and forwards between the two. At the moment, it's pulling in data from Station Master, but it will pull in from PSK Reporter. You'll be able to filter it, same as what you're used to. It's not going to replace Hamcock or uh, whatever it's called, the other one, Geochron. It will do different things, you know. It will do similar stuff, but it's not designed to replace those or do the functionality that those things do. So don't expect that. It's just something else. Station Master, this is more, you know, this is more a Station Master add-on more than anything else. Okay, over here, we've also got an ICOM 7300 in a million pieces. So the plan is, I'm going to try and see if I can add an external monitor to it. There's rumours on the internet of somebody else that's managed it. I found the, uh, the data lines that control the screen. So using uh, ESP32 microcontroller, we should be able to tap into those decode them and maybe do something fun like display uh, the display on an external monitor or something. Anyway, we'll figure it out. I've not fully got into it yet. I've just had a poke about. I've not even stuck the scope on or, or tried to decode the data yet. But we will get there. This is an old 7300. It works fine, you know. I'm never going to sell it. So I thought, okay, let's have a bit of fun. Got plenty of other radios in the shack to, to use. So, yeah, doesn't matter if I break that one, does it? <laughs> I would just have to buy a new front panel if I do. It needed a new multi-knob anyway. The multi-knob's not working properly, so it needed to come apart. So while I had it apart, I thought, okay, let's see what we can do in terms of external monitors. Um, other projects. So today I've also been working on an update to Station Master. So on the map feature, if I search for NX8T, all right, 8T, it will now... Uh, you can now, if you've got a beam connected, oh, that's the wrong version. But anyway, on the new version, there'll be a there'll be a button there to beam short path and long path uh, without having to go up into the beam control azimuth, beam to current user, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's live. Well, it will be in a second when I click this button. Here we go. Publish now. So there we go. The update is now live. Beam shortcuts added to main map, that should say. Let's just fix that. Main um, map for pop up to quickly beam long path or short path to current station. Save. There we go. So if you're on Station Master 2, you'll get an update, and that will now allow you to very quickly turn your beam to the current operator. That is now live. I've spent the last hour coding that. What, what are we on now? It's uh, four o'clock. So, so yeah, I've been coding about an hour, uh, adding in this beam functionality. If you want the dashboard, get yourself into the Discord. There'll be a link below. There's a channel called SM-Dash. It's not public yet, but if you want a, an early copy, uh, you will be able to get one in there maybe later on this evening. But we shall see. And then you can have yourself a copy of the ham fish. <laughs> I might leave that on there. What I might do is have it so that everybody that's got it installed all around the world the ham fish will only ever show up on one person's screen and then it will sort of it will swim off around the globe to somebody else and then it will show up on their screen you know but it will only ever be on one person's screen at a time so if you're seeing the fish you know you've got to look after it basically you have to feed the fish <laughs> by making lots of contacts if it, it, it feeds on dx and then we can have a leaderboard of who fed the fish the most anyway all fun isn't it just a bit of fun 
probably won't do any of that, but you know, it's just imagination sparking off ideas of what, yeah, stuff we could actually do. So here we go. That's a cool picture, isn't it? G5STU in the shack. See you next time. Bye-bye.